Okay, so we are back with another part of the Wolf Among Us. So in the last part, um, we discovered Snow could potentially still be alive. You don't know, it's fable things, it's all this magical things. It could be something completely different, but it could be, uh, it could actually be her. So we don't really know yet. So we'll just have to figure this out. So here we go. At this point, I'm not really sure it's actually her. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. How are you not okay, dead? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us That's track down the killer. That's not your job. That's not your job, Snow. Someone had to take care of it. Oh, Tennessee, be quiet. Snow? What is it? Are, are you okay? Are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm really confused. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Um, uh, you need to be careful. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? That's not snow, is it? I'll figure it out. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf mm -hmm. to solve it's all my problems? It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm not yours to lose. I really don't think it's snow. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle I can it. handle the kid. Okay. Mm. Oh. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Okay, let's go and talk to them. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Um, we'll what talk later. We? We'll talk about this later. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf?
Hopefully. It's okay. Um, this won't take long. This won't take long. Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're, you're a good in kid, trouble. DJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can You're happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me. But, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Was someone I didn't laughing? Want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Sheriff... Did you see who it was? No! Bigby, he's frightened. Um... Bigby... Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Hmm. I still don't think that's snow. <laughs> that went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Um, in a minute. In a minute. When you're ready. Okay. I'm going to see what this lamp does and then we'll have a look at the mirror. And just a little look around before we uh, go look at the body. Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Um. What, what were was you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. 
Uh, right, let's have another look. Um, show me the woodsman. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Okay, so that's well, not... that's helpful. Uh, show me Tweedledum. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Hmm. Okay. Right, so... I guess that wasn't much help, really. <laughs> um, we'll try and make our way back over to where Snow is, if I could find it. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Pity these can't solve murders. Okay. Let's have a look at these. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Okay. Snow's perfume. Hmm. Okay, let's just go and talk to them then. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. What are we doing? Oh, my mate's full. <laughs> I see like, why are we stopped moving. Okay. Can I not walk any faster than this? Wow. I didn't realize this is weird. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Um, looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So. It's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Okay, uh, let's. Didn't we already look at this bit? She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Okay. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. 
If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. Um. Might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. Buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Um, okay. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Big B, just let me. It's not you. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. What have you found out? Um... The plan is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. You should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Okay, let's have a look at the lingerie first. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Okay. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Um, let's have another look. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at, just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Um, you worry too much. You worry too much, Crane. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Um. Might yeah. want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Okay, so where's my mouse? <laughs> Why can I not find my mouse? Uh, whoa. Okay, I don't know where my mouse is right now. Like, how am I even meant to do this? Okay. <laughs> um, right. So that's that one. There we go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, let's have a look at the picture first. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. And look at the hair. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Huh. 
Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Um, you don't Holly the bartender. Do she looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should hmm. go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby um, is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. It's too dangerous. Here. And do nothing like I always do. You're not coming with me, Snow. I should go. I can't, I can't take her because I, I wouldn't want anything to happen to her. So we're just going to leave her here. Although actually thinking about it now, we might be better taking her because then at least we could keep an eye on her. I don't know. Maybe that was the wrong decision. This whole thing is complete <clears throat> bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Mm -hmm. This'll do. Uh, I need to talk to Holly. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? <laughs> because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. Okay. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said um, it looked like Snow White. Crane. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm um... sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? Let Jack We talk. haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. 
Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Hmm. Um... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and... I... I wish this had ended up better. I knew this would happen. I know this is hard. You can just, uh... Holly. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. All right, I think that's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I guess she didn't listen what anyway. What could you possibly want right now? Why are you what here? What are you doing here? I know you told me to stay put, but I'm sorry, Bigby. I just can't. I have to do something. I'm not... I'm not sitting in the office all day. I have to help. Yeah, she knows. So your business is done here. Oh, okay. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Um, hmm. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf um, mine. It's very I don't really know what to say, so we're not going to say anything at this point. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here. Um, city. why was she glamored? She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamored as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Um... Oh, it's okay. If it's too much, Georgie. I have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Anything Thanks we can do. Thanks for everything, do. Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to No. Him? No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. Um, we burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do.
That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. I, will, I thought I was making an effort. Just <laughs> me. It makes everything Obviously easier. not. Okay, well, I think we'll end this part here, and I will speak to you in the next part.